Hello loves! Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm filming a makeup look for you today. I don't really know what I'm going for with this look to be completely honest with you. Um, I was just hoping I could find some inspiration in my outfit a little bit. I'm wearing this t-shirt dress from Shop Audacious Boutique. I will leave a link down below to their page. And this is just a statement necklace that I've had forever. It's just really cute and summery. It has like a starfish and seashells and all kinds of cute things on it. So that is just what I'm wearing today so I was hoping that I could figure out what exactly I'm doing on my face by as I'm going along so we'll see how this works <laughs> okay so I've already done a few things off camera just for time's sake I have moisturized my lips by putting on this blossom lip gloss this is infused with flowers and herbs this is from Urban Outfitters so it's super just hydrating on your lips and so I just put a little bit of that on just to get my lips prepped for the end when I put on lipstick and then I have applied some uh, moisturizing lotion I use the Clinique one I know it's really dirty um, but I use that and then I use this Clinique pore minimizer okay I had a foundation that exploded all over these products but these are the products I use today and then of course I prime my face with the all May smart shade perfect and correcting primer so that is that. Let's go ahead and hop on in. Under eyes because I have just got some bags from hell because my sleeping pattern in the summer is so shitty and I'm going to be screwed when school comes around. So I just take a, like, a pea-sized amount and put this under both eyes. And this is just nano fill. All right. to my crease with a dense crease brush. I don't really know what just happened. Um, I'm going to take this brown color right here with just a dense crease brush from Real Techniques, I believe. And I'm going to put that in the corner of my eye and work my way in like an outer shape, like basically like a V-shape, like some on the inner corner and then I'm just gonna blend that out with an echo styling tools echo styler tools brush just so it's not super duper harsh we'll go back in and deepen that up after we get the rest of the eye color done next I'm just gonna take a flat shader brush and I'll be taking the shimmery pinky color right here I feel like my lighting is not doing it justice but it's beautiful just so you guys know I'm gonna pack that on tap the excess off and then pack some more back on <laughs> I'm just going to pop this in my, the center of my mobile lid. And like a packing, sweeping motion. Till you look like a hot mess, pretty much. And then I'm going to take that same Echo Styling Tools brush and blend that into that crease color just so there's no harsh lines so next i am going to pop on a color for my highlight just because i want to get that out of the way i'm going to be taking this color right here it's like, like a banana -y matte color these shadows are super duper pigmented and so i seriously love them i'm just going to take this on my brow bone because i've already done my brows that's why i like my brows first i can just jump right to the eyeshadow so um under the arch and I have to blend it pretty slowly the way I like to think about it is like I can always add more product but if I go in balls blazing and with like a shit ton of product I have a harder chance of trying to take away product than I would trying to put on product so so I'm just gonna keep going in with that until I reach the color that I there we go so I reach the highlighted look that I'm looking for and because my face is gonna be pretty dramatic I don't want to take this too too much like too highlighted because then I'll look like a hot ass mess so this is working so far so I'm just going to take another shadow brush this is just a denser flat top shadow brush and I'm going to reach back into that palette I'm going to pick up this like gunmetal color these have colors but they're just like s1 s3 so I guess this would be s6 shimmer six like really smashbox that was the best you could do cool 
So I'm gonna pick this up. And honestly, I should have gotten this brush damp first because it would have helped this apply a lot better, but I didn't. So anyways, I'm gonna pop that in my inner corner. Just for a hint of color. And I'm gonna kind of drag it up onto the other color, but not fully. Just like a fourth of the lid, like that. So I'm just gonna go back in and deepen up my crease with that same matte brown shadow and then I'll be there. Okay, so now that we're on the same page, I'm just going to hopefully get my life together since I keep dropping things. I'm gonna dip back into that Smashbox Full Exposure Palette and just deepen up the crease a little bit more. I just really am going for like a super brown, smoky look with this, I guess. So I get that to my liking. You know what? I was trying to just use one palette. But I'm going to go ahead and dip into Naked 2 by Urban Decay and just grab the color Blackout on a dense shadow brush as well. Because I want to deepen that up just a little bit more. I guess I was trying to steer clear from the blacks because it seems like every time I pick up a black I end up with a smoky eye. And that's like not what I'm trying to do today. So I guess it is now. Whatever. <laughs> so we're going to take that color Blackout on the outer furthest corner there we go that's what I needed I just needed some black in my life guys of course my favorite color and I'm just gonna deepen that up just so it gives more depth into the eye and don't worry I will be blending that out I just want to kind of deepen up that blue. Okay, I'm going to take this one pot in shadow from Mark Wins, and it's just a really, really pretty, like, iridescent blue. And I'm just going to pop that over that shimmery color. There we go, because I just want to deepen that color up a little bit. And then I'm going to go back over it with the Smashbox. Really pretty, glittery one right here. I think that finally seals the deal for me. Okay, so next I'm going to add some liner and some mascara. I'm going to line my top line, my top lash with this Maybelline New York Master Precise liner. It looks like this. It's the felt tip kind. And then I'm going to be smudging my on my lower lash this Silkenese liner by L'Oreal Paris. Silkenese? Silkenese? I don't know what it's called. I'm going to do this first just because it's easier. And I've never tried to do my liner on camera. So that might not go over real. Okay. So I'm just going to lightly pull down on my lower lash. And then just... Put this on there. And then tight line in my upper lash a little bit as well. Just to make the lashes blend a lot better. My eyes are watering. Oh my god. Fashion. It's super pinky. Super girly. Use the same brush and just take that. Okay, there we go. Mmm. Yes. Yes. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm such a hot ass mess. Okay. So, 
Now I am just going to go back over my eyeliner with the e.l.f. gel liner. I love this stuff. And I'm just going to make sure my eyeliner looks good. I'm going to throw on a wing. I'm not going to do that on camera because honestly it would take me 35 years. A, because I try to perfect it so well. And B, I don't have time for that. I'm also going to throw some mascara on my lower lashes and I'll and be right get a crap ton of product on there because... I don't know. I just feel like I should look bronzy today. I feel like I deserve to look like a bronze goddess, so. I'm going to hit the high points of my face, my cheekbones. Bring that in a C motion. My nose. other cheekbone oh my god yes I seriously don't know where you can get this palette because I don't remember where I got it but I'm obsessed with it so using the L'Oreal color and 620 Mika this is kind of new this is from L'Oreal yeah looks like this I haven't really decided if I like this color to be completely honest with you but I'm gonna use it today so I moisturized my lips at the beginning of the video I'm just going to take the The reason I don't think I like this is because I feel like there's too much sheen to it. Like, I wish they would have made that more of a matte color. But they didn't, so whatever. I'm going to take NARS Vida... NARS Vida Loca? Ay, que fabulosa. I'm taking NARS Dulce Vida. And this is freaking gorgeous. This is one of my favorite colors that I own in a lip gloss, seriously. And that's that right there. See, like, I wish it looked more like this color. But since it doesn't, I'm going to top it with this color because... I love me some NARS products, girl. And it just makes it, oh my god, it's so beautiful. I can't even deal. I haven't found a lip liner that I really like with this product that works with it, so that's why I didn't use one. So here's lip color number one with the look. And this brush just works really good. I am going to overline on my top lip just a little bit. Um, nothing crazy. I already have super voluptuous lips, as you can tell. So now that they're lined like that, I'm just going to take this brush and I'm just going to drag the product up a little bit. And on the top look down. And then just going to rub my lips. Like so. I just feel like this kind of just, I don't know, I was kind of hesitant to throw a dark lip on with this outfit and this look, but I like it. Okay, so I'm just going to highlight a little bit. I'm going to take my finger, dip back into this, highlight on the center points of my lips. Like so. So this is lip number two. So yeah, that is this look for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I kind of just went with the flow, and I think I like how it turned out. Goldeny with some blue. Yeah, I think I look cute. I don't know. What do you guys think? Alright, but that is going to be all, so thank you guys, of course, like always, for coming, and don't forget to subscribe, like, and or leave a comment. If you have any other video suggestions, I would love to hear them and love to do them for you, so yeah. I do have a hair one coming up. Um, I'm just going to be showing you guys how I achieve these Indian braids, what I like to call them. They're super sassy, super cute, you know, super easy. So yeah, that's going to be all for today, so thank you guys so much for coming, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!